Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusia, Spain. We have autumn colors. Slowly it's getting colder. We haven't had many colors like this on this farm. And it's actually quite easy now to see which trees we have introduced because the oaks don't have autumn colors. Peach, it's a cherry, the albaricoque, the, my God, what is this? It is the, anyway, it will come. We have our garden. The garden is too big for us. We're going to keep that part at the end and this part towards the west. In the middle, here to there, we're going to cover with black plastic, tug in the ends and leave it for one or two years. And the idea is to change the consistency of the soil, um, hopefully to the better, but also we're going to kill all the microbes in here and a lot of moles and mice will take over and lots of this morning glory will die off and I have seen it somewhere and I was impressed. I hope we can copy the same thing here. This is a guava. We had beautiful fruit two years ago. This year not a single fruit. So this area we will keep. Lots of strawberries. It is so nice to come here and just harvest strawberries for breakfast. Okay, then this is what our garden looks like. We have a carrot, we have a... Okay, this one. It's an apricot, the word I was looking for. And this is the stinging nettle. And we have lots of things here and we harvest in between all these brassicas. This yellow color here is the asparagus. We have peppers, potato, a uh, plant out of his place. I'm not allowed to say weed. And this is the strawberry tree in flower. And this is the Topinambur. Jerusalem artichoke. We have lots of them already. This whole area. And if the wife doesn't eat it, then uh, hopefully we can plant them again next year. I would like to have lots of them. And here we have the USA volunteer and we have the Liechtenstein volunteer. <laughs> Don't do that, it's on camera. <laughs> This is the um, Chinese prune and I'm so happy that this is doing fairly well. It was a little bit stunned for two years but now the third year it is growing and the moringa and the apricot and the paulovnia. This is one of the 
issues we are faced with interfering with nature Mediterranean climate so this is a tree from Asia Polovnia and now it's making new growth but it should not do it now it should actually lose all its leaves and uh, rest it's now depleting its spring energy and uh, this is not what we want but it's out of its zone and we just have to live with that now the citrus having their flowers now and uh, in our climate which is good for citrus except our very hot dry winds um, they can flower three times a year but not necessarily produce fruit three times a year so uh, I will not do anything to them I have removed the blossoms from the pears and peaches I don't want them to have flowers now but the loquat flowering now that's why it is one of the first fruits in spring to produce So, who is the confused one? Maybe me, interfering with nature. But the lots of bees. That's good. Next to the house and the dog run, we have this hot house. And I am itching to remove all that stuff, put in some tables and have this exclusively for our plants that will be great Luna is doing some daydreaming sleeping she and Max they were out on duty last night and according the tracker there was not a square centimeter of this 55,000 square meter farm that you didn't cover. Uh, almost 10 kilometers. So uh, maybe she's a bit sleepy. She's going to fall over. This is the spot in the creek, the middle of the creek, where we have our daily report on the water. And uh, it's interesting, the water ciphers there from the right hand side towards that area. Seeps in there. The Kanat system is also lower the last few days and this is now higher. How it all works I still don't know. I might never know but uh, I'll keep observing. And this is more of our autumn colors with our potatoes on this swales, on this berms. I will just leave them, they can just keep growing every year or a few times a year, that's another magic thing they grow three times a year go for it, makes you happy I'm here for you we will put in about 300 beach pips in the soil and I'm eager to see what they 
will happen with them. They are uh, being stratified right now. They're in the fridge with a wet or a damp cloth in the same packet. Let's see. This new swale has been filled up with organic material. Yeah, one day I want to see how the swale fills up with water before I have all that organic material in it. But I cannot wait. I must do things when I can and just get the job done. This is my kamut seeds. I also planted them in rows and when I had left I just broadcasted it here. They are sprouting. Go for it. Kamut, you're welcome. We, this is our asparagus area. A small creek used to leak through this area. A tree fell over there long before my time and another one here, which shows me it is perhaps more humid than other parts of the farm. And uh, we have the asparagus here and now we will, we planted a lot of seeds and the, most of them grew and we will now plant more asparagus and or fill in where some of them died. And this new growth must come out from this home oak. But I have another surprise for myself. I'm walking here on the east and um, this is what we find. Acorn sprouting, a radical. And then the leaves will come out on the other end. That's why one plants it horizontally. Excellent! I like it. This is our natural area that we don't touch. This is our oak saplings. And uh, they have made their, it passed their first summer. So this is now their second winter. And so two more summers, they are on the critical list. And if they make that, they have a 50% chance of carrying on. But a lot of them die in their third year. So, the refrain here is the hot, dry, sudden onset of this hot, dry wind. This is what kills most of our plants. I have also added phosphorus to the water of the newly planted fruit trees. Thank you, Steve. I'm watching them now, how they make their roots. 
it's a nice day. We haven't had sun for quite some time. We haven't had rain, but we enjoy it. Till next time, goodbye.